Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Trapped Alive. I think originally it was called Trapped, or perhaps the um, British title, the English title, was called, called Trapped, because the flip cover on the inside has this. And when you start the movie, it says Trapped. So anyhow, uh, I bought this off my good buddy John Sims on Facebook. I purchased from him before. Zodiac Killer comes to mind. Trapped Alive is a, another movie filmed in Wisconsin. I believe it was by Windsor Lake Studios, who had done a lot of, uh, it says here, Fangoria films, including Bruce Campbell's Mind Warp, which I liked. So Trapped Alive is a movie about these two young girls who go to go to a party and their car gets hijacked by three guys who broke out of prison. They go off on the road to try and like get away from the roadblocks because I guess the prisoners are obviously afraid they're going to get caught and they fall down a mine shaft and get stuck. There's like this small house near the mine shaft and there's this attractive, very thin, but attractive woman living there. And, um, the police are looking for the, the people cause they do know they're missing after a while. And they, they hear like the mine shaft moving and things, you know, the, the collapses and, there's something in the mine shaft with the people while they're stuck. And it starts to go after them. It's not very gory or very like monsterish where like this monster's chasing these people and you know it's on edge and intense. It's not really like that. The pacing of the movie has issues. So I feel like while you're watching it there's lots of slow points of the film where there's just people talking or arguing or the guy's trying to sleep with one of the girls, and the girl's fighting him off. And then, you know, eventually this, I don't want to give away too much, but this monster in the in the mine starts using this, it's like a, um, kind of like a claw machine, and it grabs people. So he's grabbing people and then, like, killing them. And uh, there's some gore, but really nothing to write home about. It's a sort of interesting story. But I wouldn't say it's a great movie. When I think of Wisconsin horror films, besides The Pit, which I haven't seen since I was a child and I enjoyed, I think of things uh, like Scared Stiff, which I know I had spoken about recently, which I thought was okay, and uh, Blood Beat, which is completely absurd and insane, and Chill Factor, which I enjoy. Uh, Trapped Alive is not one of the best movies I've seen that came out of Wisconsin and it's decent, but it just feels like it's slow in areas and it could have been better. Maybe there could have been some more parts with the monster going after the people or some more intensity. I felt like there was just too much slowness with the film. It was decent, but I, I wouldn't highly recommend it by any means. If any of that sounds interesting to you though, with the people being trapped in the mine shaft, maybe give it a look if you can find it, you know, on a streaming site or YouTube or something to watch. Um, some of the special edition content is a brand new 2K restoration, and it did look very good, by the way. Original stereo audio, optional subtitles, audio commentary, a making of documentary, um, a television documentary on Windsor Lake Studios, and there is some information here about Lesik Brzezinski, the uh, early years, who is the Trapped Alive director, and how he got into filmmaking, as well as obviously the reversible cover art that I showed you earlier. So if you can get it for maybe a really low price or watch it somewhere, but that's Trapped Alive. Let me know, guys, if you've seen it, what you thought of it. If not, hmm. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.